Wilder is here. Look out, world, Sydney's back. Did you see that? Sydney McLaughlin just clocked in at 52.70 seconds in the 400 meter hurdles. After nearly a year away, she's back and absolutely destroyed the competition. This changes everything for the upcoming season. Sydney is back in her world record event. Trey Hardy, what do you want to see from her today? I want to see how it all comes together. I think we're poised to see one of the fastest runs in history based on... So, where do we start? How about with her world record and Olympic gold medal? Sydney McLaughlin has been a standout in the 400 meter hurdles, an event that combines speed, strength, and technique. Back in August 2021 at the Tokyo Olympics, Sydney ran an astonishing race, clocking in at 51.46 seconds. This not only earned her the gold medal, but also shattered the world record. Can you imagine the excitement? I mean, she didn't just win, she made history. But Sydney's not just a one-hit wonder. She has consistently been at the top of her game, dominating the 400-meter hurdles and setting the bar incredibly high. Her performance in Tokyo was followed by another record-breaking run in 2022. On August 8, 2022 in Hungary, she pushed the limits once again, finishing the race in 51.68 seconds. That's just mind-blowing. 200-meter dashes we've seen and Australia. Over Dr. over the Atlantic, the there's, a, there's a Dutch Antonio. woman named Femke Boll who has been setting the world on fire and made it known that she, she... Now, let's talk about her break. After her phenomenal run in Hungary, Sydney took a hiatus from competitive racing. It's always a bit nerve-wracking when a top athlete steps away, right? You wonder if they'll come back as strong or if they'll even come back at all. Sydney's absence from the track since August 2022 had all of us fans eagerly waiting for her return. We missed seeing her grace, power, and those crazy finishes. But you know what? Sometimes a break is exactly what an athlete needs. It's a chance to recharge, to heal, and to come back even stronger. And that's precisely what Sydney did. Her return to the track has been nothing short of spectacular, and it's clear that she's back with a vengeance, ready to take on the world once again. This event, to say the least, will. On your mark. This highly anticipated event took place at the illustrious Morehouse College in Atlanta. The atmosphere was electric, with fans eagerly waiting to see Sydney back in action after her long break. The competition was fierce, featuring some top-notch athletes. One name that stood out was Serenity Michelle Clayton, who has been blazing through the 400-meter hurdles this year with a top time of 53.72 seconds. She's definitely a force to be reckoned with. And then, of course, there's the incredible Dutch contender, Femke Bol. Bol has been setting the track on far across the Atlantic, making it clear that she's gunning for gold in the Paris Olympics. With these strong competitors, the stage was set for an epic showdown. From the moment the race started, you could tell she was in her element. The race began with a clean start, and Sydney was off like a rocket clearing the first hurdle with ease. Her start was crucial, setting a strong pace right from the beginning. Trey Hardy, a seasoned track and field expert, was watching closely and had some insightful commentary. He noted how Sydney's form was impeccable. She wasn't chopping her steps, maintaining a smooth and powerful stride. This is a big deal in hurdles because any misstep can cost you precious seconds. As she approached the 200 meter mark, Sydney was already creating a significant gap between herself and the rest of the field. Her rhythm and speed were just phenomenal. Hardy pointed out that she was making up the stagger quickly, which means she was catching up to and surpassing the runners in the outer lanes much faster than expected. Tony is back no in her signature event here. over the first the hurdle. The world play. record holder gets started around this track at Morehouse College in Atlanta. She got out really, really well. 
not chopping her steps quite, but she's got lots of speed. She's trying to learn how to drive this new fast car. Coming into the final stretch, Sydney looked as strong as ever. She wasn't just running, she was gliding. Her technique was flawless, hitting each hurdle perfectly without losing momentum. It's as if she was on a mission to show the world that she's still the queen of the 400 meter hurdles. When she crossed the finish line, the crowd erupted. Sydney clocked in at 52.70 seconds, the fastest time in the world this year by over a second. Just think about that for a moment. After almost a year away from her signature event, she comes back and posts a world-leading time. It's absolutely incredible. After the race, Sydney didn't seem winded at all. While other athletes were catching their breath, she looked calm and composed, even chatting with track and field royalty, Edwin Moses. This just shows how well-prepared and fit she is. They're seeing a world record holder live in person. Her first 400 hurdles since August of 2022. It's gonna be quick, the world record holder is here. Look out world, Sydney's back. 52.7. And by over a second, the number one time in the world in 2024. She clocked in at 52.70 seconds in the 400 meter hurdles. And trust me, this is a big deal. This time isn't just fast, it's the fastest in the world this year by a significant margin. Think about it. She's been off the track for almost a year and she comes back to post a time that leaves her competitors in the dust. Incredible, right? Now, to put this in perspective, let's compare it to her previous world record. Back in Tokyo, 2021, Sydney set the world on fire with a time of 51.46 seconds. That was an astonishing feat, breaking her own record and setting a new bar for the 400 meter hurdles. Although her recent 52.70 seconds isn't a new world record, it's still an insane performance, especially considering it's her first race in this event since August 2022. It shows that even after a break, she's still in a league of her own. So what does this mean for the future? Well, Sydney's preparation and fitness levels are clearly top notch. She looks smooth, controlled, and incredibly strong throughout the race. Her ability to come back with such a powerful performance after a hiatus speaks volumes about her dedication and training regimen. It's like she never left the track. Get the congratulatory handshake, two of the greatest. Looking ahead, all eyes are on the Paris Olympics. One of the most exciting aspects of Sydney's return is the potential face-off with her rival, Femke Boll. Boll has been making waves in Europe, setting impressive times, and proving she's a serious contender for Olympic gold. A showdown between these two will be nothing short of epic. Imagine the thrill of seeing Sydney and Femke push each other to their limits on the world's biggest stage. Sydney's recent performance also sets the tone for the upcoming track season. Competitors like Serenity Michelle Clayton, who had the top time of the year before Sydney's return, will have to step up their game. The bar has been raised, and everyone in the 400 meter hurdles will be aiming to match or surpass Sydney's incredible time. Track and field analysts and coaches were absolutely buzzing after her race. Trey Hardy, a well-respected figure in the athletics community, couldn't stop raving about her technique. He pointed out how Sydney's form was nothing short of perfect. Despite the long break, she didn't miss a beat. Her stride was smooth, her rhythm was impeccable, and she navigated each hurdle with such precision. It was like watching a masterclass in hurdling. Coaches are also praising her ability to maintain such control and composure. Coming back after nearly a year away from the event, you'd expect a bit of rust, right? Not with Sydney. Her performance was so fluid and effortless. It was as if she had been competing all along. This speaks volumes about her training and mental strength. Staying in top form during a hiatus is no easy feat, and Sydney made it look like a walk in the park. So on behalf of the American Track League, that is US track and field and royalty. And on behalf of the infield compatriot, and it looked like Sydney was just out there for Mr. training. Castley. My name is Rob Vermillion. We'll see you again next year. Thank you for coming. I think partially a look of relief 
on Sydney's face, getting that out of the way. The Olympic standard is done. She's got her seat at the table. She's ready for the Olympic trials. The atmosphere at Morehouse College in Atlanta was electric. Fans were on their feet, cheering loudly as Sydney took the lead. You could feel the excitement and anticipation in the air. When she crossed the finish line with that world-leading time, the place erupted. It's one thing to watch a great race on TV, but being there in person to witness such a historic moment? That's something else entirely. Fellow athletes were just as thrilled. Many took to social media to congratulate Sydney and express their admiration. It's always inspiring to see peers celebrating each other's achievements. Top competitors like Serenity Michelle Clayton and even Femke Bull acknowledged Sydney's incredible comeback. They know that competing against someone of her caliber only pushes them to improve and aim higher. The broader track and field community is buzzing too. Sydney's return has injected a fresh wave of excitement into the sport. Analysts, former athletes, and fans alike are all talking about what this means for the upcoming season. There's a sense of anticipation and eagerness to see how the competition will unfold, especially with the Paris Olympics on the horizon. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.